you can take a look at the problem called basic calculator number three. So this question has all the problems that we encounter in basic calculator number one and two. So you can see here for our string or for our expression, we're going to have plus minus multiplication and divisions, as well as we also gonna have open and closing parentheses. And we can also have negative values uh, and positive values, right? So if you haven't checked out basic calculator number one and two, I highly recommend you check that one out before this one. So basically you can see here, we have an example like one plus one, in this case is two, right? We can also have like this, like minus and a division, but you can also have a brackets, right? So like I said, again, we have to treat brackets as like a very, like a priority. So we have to complete what's inside of brackets first and then what's outside of brackets, right? That's our rule. And then in terms of, you know, you know like divisions and um, and, and then also like sub subtractions, like we have to complete multiplication and division first, and then we have, to, and then we have to complete plus and minus after, right? So in this case, we have to follow that priority. So in this case, you can see here, we have an example like this, right? So we first complete what's inside our bracket, right? So in this case, our bracket, we have something like this, which is exactly what we did in basic calculator number two, so in this case, five times two is 10, 10 plus five is 15. So what once once that's done, right, we're just gonna backtrack to the parent stack, which is here, so we continue, right? So 15 divided by three, in this case um, is five, right? So five times two, in this case is 10. So we have 10 here plus, right? So once we get rid of the multiplication we now have to deal with the brackets right what's inside our brackets so in this case what's inside our bracket we're going to do our dfs down to this level and then we're going to have our multiplication complete first right so six times two or six divided by two in this case three three plus eight in, in this case is 11 right so once we get our once we complete what's inside our brackets we're going to backtrack return the result value back to the root where the parent stack in this case is 11 so in this case, it pretty much is just a simple 10 plus 11, which is in this case is gonna be the value for our current level, right? Which is basically 21. So in this case, you can see here, we're returning 21. Um, so you can see here um, to solve this problem, basically there's really nothing new, right? We're inside our bracket. We just have to treat it as like a basic calculator two, a number two question. And then as overall, like how we're gonna do our DFS we're basically just going to treat it as like a basic calculator number one, right? So there's really nothing new. I don't want to go over or reteaching those stuff here. So basically what I did is um, I basically have the index starting at zero, character array, uh, which is, has the same setup as basic calculator number one. Um, and then inside our DFS function, right, we're basically just going to traverse or iterate the entire string we're gonna use the stack, um, and then the initial operator is a plus sign. Um, the goal is we want to be able to just like I mentioned in basic calculator number two, we want to get rid of, we want to group the modification and divisions together, right, in a single uh, in in a single integer value, so that once we uh, done our iteration, or in this case, let's say if there's a situation where you know where we are visiting a closing bracket, we can just break out of it getting all the values in our stack and return that total for what's for what for all the the total value for what we have inside our brackets right so basically the idea is that first we iterate the the entire string um, if array at index does not equal to an empty space then what we do is we do the following right so in this case first we check to see if it's a digit if it's, if it is we build a number okay and then we're going to parse it and then we have this function called insert element. We basically um, insert the element onto the stack, right? So you can see here, we're following these conditions here. If the operator is a negative value, we just do that. If it's a, modifica if it's a, mod a modification symbol, right? A, a star symbol, we can just pop the top element out of the stack and then updates the current num. If it's a division, we do the same thing. And then we just push it onto the stack. Very, very simple. Uh, so we talked about it in basic calculator number two already. And then what we're gonna do then is um, after that, we're just going to continue to iter iterate the index or increment the index by one.
But let's say if there's a situation where we encounter an open parenthesis, then what we have to do is we have to do our DFS, right? And then don't forget, we also have to insert that into our element, right? Because our, our, our operator could also be multiplication, right? Our operator could be a division, right? I could have a five divided by bracket two plus five, right? Inside a bracket, right? It doesn't have to be like plus sign. So in this case, we have to call this function again to insert the current num that we have inside our brackets onto our stack correctly. And then we can continue. Right. And if it's a closing parenthesis, we can just break out a loop. Or if the index is out of bound, we can also break out a loop as well. Um, and then um, otherwise, if the current character is a plus, is a negative, is a multiplication symbol or a division symbol, we can just, uh, you know, override the operator variable. Right. So you can see that basically this is the, the, the core of it. We basically iterate through the entire string. And then at the end, we basically do exactly what we did in basic calculator number two, try to get our total by iterating all this, uh, all the elements that we have in our stack to get the sum, right? And then you can see here, um, like I said, again, we're basically trying to get rid of, we're trying to group those modifications, right? So you can see here those modification values. These are modifications or divisions, right? Modifications, we're trying to turn them into a single integer value, so that like five times, five times two is basically 10, six divided by two is basically three. We have three, right? A single digit or a single uh, integer value onto the stack. And then at the end, we basically treat that as like all the values are just addition, right? We add each and every single element onto it. There could also be negative values, right? And at the end, um, you can see that this is our DFX function. We just keep, we're just calling that. And then it will basically repeat the process doing our DFS um, iterate the entire string and then get the things done, right? So we can see that this is basically how we solve the problem and time complexity in this case is basically gonna be big of n where n is the number of characters that we have in our string.